Welcome back to Carmelite Quotes, sharing wisdom from Carmel to encourage and inspire. Today, we continue our Marie Du Jour series, delving into Marian spirituality through the lives and writings of the Carmelite saints. In today's episode, titled Be My Mother, we focus on the life of St. Teresa of Avila. St. Teresa, born in 1515 in Spain, was a mystic, writer, and reformer of the Carmelite order. Her writings, including her autobiography titled The Book of Her Life, are considered some of the most remarkable in the Spanish language. Teresa's deep relationship with God guided her through many spiritual and practical challenges throughout her life. From Chapter 1 of The Book of Her Life, St. Teresa recalls the poignant loss of her mother. I remember that when my mother died, I was 12 years old or a little less. When I began to understand what I had lost, I went, afflicted, before an image of Our Lady and besought her with many tears to be my mother. It seems to me that although I did this in simplicity, it helped me. For I have found favor with this sovereign virgin in everything I have asked of her. And in the end, she has drawn me to herself. In her autobiography, St. Teresa reflects on the profound loss of her mother and the lasting spiritual foundation her mother built during Teresa's early years. Teresa fondly recalls, The care my mother took to have us pray and to be devoted to Our Lady and to some of the saints began to awaken me to the practice of virtue when I was about six or seven years old. This nurturing in faith by her mother was instrumental in shaping Teresa's spiritual path. Her biographer, William Thomas Walsh, vividly describes the emotional backdrop of Teresa's loss, detailing the family's solemn journey through a harsh Castilian winter to Avila for her mother's burial. This event profoundly affected Teresa, highlighting the deep sense of loss she felt. In her grief, Teresa sought solace at the Church of St. Lazarus. There, before the image of Our Lady of Charity, she tearfully pleaded for Mary to come and be her mother, a request that resonated deeply within her, affirming the Marian devotion her mother had instilled in her. This moment was not the beginning, but a deepening of her relationship with Mary, influenced by her family's practices, especially the daily recitation of the rosary. This strengthened bond with Mary would profoundly shape Teresa's spiritual journey and her writings, inspiring countless others around the world. Thank you for joining us today. If this episode touched you, please share it with others. Subscribe for more, and don't hesitate to engage with our Question of the Day on Spotify. And for a deeper exploration of St. Teresa's works, visit ICS Publication, where you can find all of her collected works translated by Discalced Carmelites, Fathers Chiron Cavanaugh and Otilio Rodriguez. It's the benchmark translation today. Just visit ICS Publications. Dot org. And for more inspiring quotes and stories about St. Teresa, head over to our blog at carmelitequotes.blog. As always, we offer special thanks to Sean Beeson for our beautiful music. And as we close, let's remember St. Teresa's journey as a testament to the strength and solace she found in our Blessed Mother. The Virgin Mary is waiting for us 
to turn to her too. Blessings from Carmel.